cracking folks Lloyd here back again with another video tech unboxing obviously but in this video I will be unboxing and doing my first impression of the Sony WH CH 720N it's my first ever Sony headphones and this is apparently like the budget version of the more expensive ones out there forgot their name but basically yeah uh, if you want something more of like a no frills but cut some corners kind of you know headphones and stuff like that but still get some pretty dope quality apparently this is the one to go for so let's find out i'm just gonna do a quick like unboxing as well as the first impressions connected with my phone just to see how good it is before i get started with this video i just want to give a quick disclaimer sony did not send me this headphones purchases with my own money and so this video is solely based on my opinion as well as just my own overall thoughts about it so before i get started box impressions yeah pretty much no frills really like you know cut corners kind of situation here nothing too fancy however though it does tell you what sort of stuff that you'll expect with this kind of headphones and stuff like that uh, it also has a alexa built in as well as okay google and then it's also made for iphone and stuff and it also has a 360 reality audio i don't really know what that is comment down below just kind of teach me a little bit but what i am excited about is the noise canceling feature as well as the 35 hour music playback that it claims anyways let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing so right off the bat unlike most of the tech stuff that i've unboxed out there i don't know maybe it's just a sony thing too who knows i don't own a lot of sony products but this one comes with like a piece of paper instead of like you know those plastic they just kind of peel off so nicely see here so oh, okay literally like no frills out there um it's just a cover and then some box that says sony so let's see here what is inside the box itself i don't know how do you even open this box okay. all right so first things first is we got you know qr code so maybe someone can qr that and then some nice cloth maybe okay so it doesn't come with a case but it does come with a cloth uh so comment down below if the more expensive ones comes with it's not even a cloth it's like some it looks it feels like a rough well, it feels like a really nice towel or something like but it feels like it can rip easily too though anyways yeah no box so that's interesting and then let's see here we got oh nice still got a 3.5 millimeter head jack so in case your phone still you know supports that or maybe your laptop like a macbook for instance you know you can just like hook it up and stuff um and then obviously we got a usb-c cable for charging and stuff and then over here we have the manual so but other than that though guys literally no frills box it doesn't even come with a case but it does come with a nice cloth which is you could probably like wipe it down and stuff like that but we don't really need that so this is what it comes with and that's about it so first things first it's really light which is really nice for this budget headset right here i got it for just 98 dollars on amazon i linked it down below in case you guys are interested but other than that you know it's just like your typical kind of headphones i guess let's kind of just test out the stretch and bend test and stuff like that as well so i don't really want to do like a really really stressful bend but it works so that's pretty good um but as far as like what to expect uh, it looks like we got some speaker grills right here which is probably what analyzes the sound and stuff like that and then just kind of uh creates that noise cancellation noise cancellation effect and then also we have one right here as well and i think it's also used for like kind of like with ipads like ad adaptive transparency like a transparency mode if that makes sense you know but i don't think sony calls it transparency mode but basically it's where it just kind of amplifies the sound from the outdoors and stuff like that so you can actually hear what is going on outside as well and then also we got the power button right here and also the Bluetooth connection. Uh, so we'll figure that out later. And then also the USB-C charging port as well as the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack thing that it comes with. Now the 
no so those, this is for the oh okay so that's that was for the left side of the ear so it's actually labeled uh over here i don't know if you guys can see that so right right here which is red and then left is um gray but for the um right side now we got noise cancellation and i guess yeah amb so ambient noise maybe so just press that and yeah it'll probably just kind of transform your sound surroundings and stuff like that and then obviously we also have the volume rockers right here so we got the up button for volume up and then down but or minus button for the uh volume down I believe this middle part right here. Now again, this is my first Sony headphone, so I don't know what to expect. I mean, there's a manual, right? But I don't really look at the manual. I just like to go in there and figure it all out myself. But rather, uh, I think this button right here in the middle right here is for your Alexa or like OK Google kind of situation too. So anyways, let's go ahead and power it up, connect it to my phone real quick here, guys. All right, so got my phone. Hopefully there is some charge here because for the most part, they have to have to keep it some charge. So let's just power it on real quick. All right, it's flashing blue. So I think what that means is it's trying to connect. So I'm gonna go ahead and just try to connect using my iPhone in here and just try to look for the Bluetooth device itself. So there you guys have it, WH, you know, the headphone name and just gonna click on that or tap on that and then hopefully it connects. All right, there we go. Uh, app not installed. The app is very robust, but I'm not here to showcase the app. Again, I am here to showcase the sound, well not the sound, but the headphones itself. Let me just try and real quick with my app right here. Let's uh, listen to some NF, or sorry, let's listen to some Nefix. So, cause I can play Nefix song here on YouTube without getting copyrighted because you know he, he's got copyright cap copyright free songs but anyways let's just try out one of his uh, new uh, EP here oh hey that's pretty nice wow okay interesting so this is with the ambient noise and then this is the noise cancellation that's interesting. Okay, cool. That's pretty nice. Overall sound quality though, guys. I like it. Oh, sorry, actually. So for this this button right here, the middle part is actually pause, play, and then next song if you double click it. Yep. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. Overall, great quality headphones, guys. Highly recommend it if you'd like. Very nice. I mean, obviously, it's not like the highest sound quality out there. You know, I, have, I own other headphones, but definitely though, if you are looking for something more budget friendly as well as you know, pretty top notch, you know, it's Sony. You can't go wrong with Sony. Definitely, I highly recommend you these headphones right here. So if you're interested, the link will be down below. From time to time, they do go down in prices and whatnot, so I got these for just 98 bucks. But other than that though, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all in my next video.